Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is compare int and compare float. We're going to go ahead and look at these two nodes. And first thing, the compare float and the compare int node are actually macros. These are just macros that are in the default standard macros library that are intended to make things easier on you. What do I mean by that? Well, if we open up the macro again, you'll notice that it has some inputs and it does some stuff. It sees if a value is less than, greater than, or equal to, and then outputs an execute pin and tells us greater than, less than, or equal to. So rather than having all of that code in the middle of our blueprint, we just have a nice macro that's intended to make it easier. So if I run this compare float with an input of one comparing with two, we're gonna get less. We're gonna get less because my less than branch fired off right here. If we change this to two, for example, we should get equal. And if we change it to a different number, like let's say three, we'll make it really simple, we'll get greater. So it just does a simple comparison. Now, we have an int version as well, and it does the same thing, but there is a difference. The float version does have floating point precision issues, and you need to be aware of that. Floating point precision issues aren't anything unique to Unreal Engine. It's just something with floating point numbers in general. It is only precise to a certain number of spots, decimal places. So for example, if we did two, we hit play, we're gonna get equal. If we did 2.0, for example, we should expect the same result because 2.0 and two are gonna be the same in terms of a float. We could even do something like this and hit play and we'll get equal. However, watch if I put something like a one down here. So this is actually two point, a bunch of zeros, one and a bunch more zeros compared with two. You would think observing this, we're gonna get back a greater than. We hit play, no, we're gonna get equal. Remember, there is only a certain amount of precision for floating point numbers, so it would actually have to be something much smaller, uh, not much smaller, much less decimal precision in order to have it be compared for greater than. So like, for example, we hit play now, it's still equal. But if we eventually drop off enough numbers and get this down small enough, we're going to get equal again, and we'll do a couple more, we'll do play, and then we'll get greater. So that's something to keep in mind. When you're using float numbers, you can have oddities. And if you're going to use the compare float node, you need to keep in mind your precision. So you might want to do things such as rounding or truncating or setting your numbers to a certain length before you compare them just to make sure if you're going to check against an equal. So that's it. That is our compare float and compare int nodes. They are macros. They are part of the standard macro libraries. And it basically makes it easy to check and see if a float or an int is going to be greater than, equal to, or less than another float or int.